This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Let's get right into your top local stories. A much needed upgrade when it comes to sewage spills at the border. A new pump is being installed at a wastewater treatment station that failed over the summer, causing a huge sewage spill. NBC7's Nicole Gomez was there this morning as crews started their work. Well, right now, crews are working to get ready for the installation of that new pump, and it's a welcome improvement for neighbors down here and folks who ride horses. Stop the stink. The sign says it all. That's how neighbors feel about the never ending sewage crisis that directly impacts their lifestyle here in horse country near the border. Well, today, according to the International Boundary and Water Commission, the pump at the Hollister Street pump station is getting replaced. Just a few months ago, you might remember it failed and sent 20,000 gallons of raw sewage into the street. Fast forward to this morning, it went out of service at 6 o'clock so that crews can finish installation by the end of the day. We were on scene as cleanup crews arrived ahead of the install. Meantime, President Biden asked lawmakers last month to grant $310 million in emergency spending to fix the crisis. If approved, it would supplement the $300 million that Congress secured a couple of years ago to cover the expansion of the South Bay treatment plant so that it can double the amount of raw sewage it treats per day. IB Mayor Paloma Aguirre described how her residents are feeling about new funding developments. It's been very positive to see see um, that their collective voices have been heard. Uh, I think there's a sense of, you know, feeling empowered that the president is actually, you know, recognizing the matter and, and, and asking Congress to prioritize it. I think that's been a positive thing for our community, being seen and being heard. Well, Aguirre says she will continue to push for more funding because South Bay residents don't deserve to live with raw sewage spilling into their backyards or their beaches. Reporting from the Tijuana River Valley, Nicole Gomez, NBC7. San Diego is eligible to apply for millions more dollars to help fight homelessness. Governor Newsom announced yesterday a third round of funding, nearly $300 million, is now available from California's encampment resolution funding. This past June, the county received nearly $17 million to help 300 homeless people living along the San Diego Riverbed get permanent housing. In January, the San Diego City Council approved spending nearly $2.4 million to help 50 people living in tents near the old library downtown. Meantime, there are dozens of people living in San Diego's two city run campsites. The locations opened earlier this year as a way to increase shelter space in the city. They are out in the open and people are housed inside plastic tents. And with rain in our forecast and temperatures expected to drop into the 40s this week, we reached out to the city to find out how the people living there are being taken care of. The city says the tents are insulated and keep people warm in the winter and cool in the summer. The city says they also conduct temperature checks regularly on site. We spoke with one person who lived at the shelter for two weeks. It's been cold, like normal, no, normal weather. Besides that, um, we have equipment for that. We have a sleeping bag, we have like um, the tent, and we have uh, all the accessories that you might ask if, if, it, if there's a need for you to have more, you have to ask the staff. The city's safe sleeping lots are able to fit 533 tents. Each tent can house two people. NBC7's Ashley Matthews joins us now with a look at your forecast. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Monica. Happy Tuesday to you. Hope everybody's having a great day today. Beautiful weather for today. Mild, dry, sunny conditions out there. It's just a really nice uh, afternoon in store for us, too. We do have a chance for some rain, though, starting tomorrow, especially afternoon uh, through Friday morning for San Diego County. Dry, warmer weekend in store for us as well. So here's your highs for today at the coast. Low 70s in the valley should be low 70s as well. Mostly sunny skies. Mountains coming in at about 56 and deserts low 70s as well. Thank you, Ashley. You know what this means. It is your chance to spread some holiday cheer to kids who might not otherwise receive gifts. Join NBC7 and Telemundo 20 for this year's Toys for Tots drive. Now through December 10th, you can drop off new and unwrapped toys at the UPS store locations or join us this Friday for a special drop off at the Walmart on Murphy Canyon Road. It's all about giving today. Charities matching donations this Giving Tuesday, plus how to avoid being scammed while donating. That's next. 
NBC7 and Telemundo 20 responds, getting results. San Diego families promised an affordable home. We said, you know, finally, we're going to have a place where we can live in. Giving thousands to a man who said their money would also help homeless veterans. I feel sorry for the people he lied to. Now, after our investigation, there's a warrant out for his arrest. Helping San Diego families finally get justice. I really, really appreciate your work. NBC7 and Telemundo 20 responds, fighting for you. This is San Diego News Daily. I'm Monica Dean. Welcome back. At least one person is dead in Chula Vista following a freeway crash involving eight cars. It happened southbound on Interstate 5 near Palomar Street a little after 1030 last night. CHP says a car stalled in the middle of the freeway led to a chain reaction crash. The name of the victim has not been released. No other injuries were reported. San Diego police are investigating the death of a man found in a makeshift tunnel in a canyon near the Linda Vista Skate Park. Firefighters responded to this call yesterday morning just before 1030 AM of a possible victim trapped in a hole. When rescue crews arrived, they found the man stuck under an old tree stump. It took crews about two hours to get him out, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. San Diego Fire says the tunnel is about eight square feet and has two entrance holes of about 24 inches. I don't know if they were living there. Um, it looks like it's a place where people would seek shelter. Uh, but what they were doing down there exactly, I'm not sure. There was no, no possibility of falling. This was crawling in. Yeah, the, he, he went in there on his own. Hmm. The victim has not been identified, but San Diego Fire says he appeared to be in his mid 30s. A Ramona neighborhood was lit up in flames after several structures caught fire overnight. Take a look here. These photos shared by a neighbor. This fire started around 11 o'clock last night on Telford Lane, about four blocks southeast of Main Street. Cal Fire says two RVs, two other structures and two cars were damaged. Two people living in the RVs are now without a place to live and are getting help from the Red Cross. The fire was knocked down in about two hours. Sheriff's officials say it's possible it was caused by a generator but that's still under investigation. There will soon be a lot more affordable housing for families, seniors, veterans, the homeless and people with disabilities here in San Diego. The County Board of Supervisors has identified nearly a dozen county owned properties that will be transformed into affordable housing. Three of those projects are already under construction. The first is on Levant Street in Linda Vista. It is expected to open in the spring. Construction has also begun on two other properties, one in Claremont that should be finished in about a year and the other on Kettner Boulevard. That is expected to be completed in the year 2025. We'll have a look at your weather forecast right after this. Looking for NBC San Diego on Roku? The easiest way to find us is with Roku voice commands. Just press the microphone button on your remote and say live TV and then say NBC San Diego. If you don't have voice commands on your remote, just scroll down to live TV, click the purple icon, go over to the left and navigate to news. Then head on down to NBC San Diego News. Once you've got us, make sure you add us to your favorites and we'll always be right there for you. NBC San Diego News on Roku. Hello, happy Tuesday to you. Ashley Matthews here with a look at your weather for today and the rest of the week with San Diego's only 10 day forecast. So today it's going to be beautiful out there for our afternoon. 70 degrees at uh, the coast for a high today should hit that uh, momentarily here and uh, low 70s for the inland valleys. Now things change quite a bit over the next couple of days. You can see those temperatures drop a little bit with this next system making its way in. We do have a chance for some light rain scattered showers starting Wednesday afternoon through Friday morning. Quick look at the mountains and deserts as well. Cool temperatures with the system. All right, thank you, Ashley. Today is Giving Tuesday when you're encouraged to open your heart and your wallet and support your favorite charities. There are multiple local charities that you can support. Father Joe's Villages works to help the homeless. Every donation with them will be doubled today up to $250,000. Other nonprofits doubling donations include the San Diego Humane Society, which not only helps shelter animals, but also provides low and no cost veterinary care and helps rescue pets during natural disasters and serving seniors, which helps seniors Seniors in poverty by providing meals, social service visits and housing. Lots of worthy charities to donate to. More coverage account on at NBC7.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.